Okay, today we're going to go over how to assemble a wheelbarrow. This this current wheelbarrow here, we actually I actually found this one. Somebody was throwing it out, and I took it, and the handles were broken on it, and um, it wasn't rusted through. There really wasn't anything wrong with it. It just needed new handles, and it was starting to rust. Some of the brackets and stuff were starting to rust. So I took a wire wheel. We cleaned up the entire um, cleaned up the entire wheelbarrow, primed it, painted it. Put it all back together it actually even when i found it it even had a brand new wheel on it but the handles were broken apart and the brackets were all starting to rust apart as you can see um, they were all pitted so what i did i took a wire wheel cleaned everything up primed everything painted everything and um, it's time for reassembly so i'm going to go through most of the time if you buy a wheelbarrow there's two options the way you can buy it that you can buy it assembled at a certain price and then you can buy it disassembled and you can save a few dollars when you go to put it together yourself. So the handles are derived of two separate pieces. You have a wedge and you actually have the handle. Uh, the wedge actually allows the handles to be inclined so you don't have to reach down to your shins to grab the handles of the wheelbarrow. It puts it up on an angle so that the wheelbarrow handles are more towards your, towards your hips or towards your, you know, above your knees so it's easier to push. If they were way down and you went to lift the wheelbarrow up, the wheelbarrow front end would hit off of the ground and that's when you would get a handle into your belly like you would shoveling snow as a little kid and you hit a crack you the wheelbarrow handles would go right into your belly so the main purpose of the, the wedge is to put those on an angle so that that doesn't happen but when you go to assemble a wheelbarrow it's not that difficult so if you if you want to save a few dollars when you go to buy a wheelbarrow and you don't want to pay um, someone to do it for you you can actually do it yourself and it's not all that difficult so let me just check the camera view to make sure you're able to see good all right so you have your front brackets which are which are here and you take these front brackets you put a carriage bolt a carriage bolt is a bolt that doesn't have a um it doesn't have a screw head to it it's not a bolt it's just a carriage bolt it holds in there because it has a square um it has a square head to it and it gets locked inside so you put your carriage bolt in, you put your bracket on the front end. Anytime you put things together, you want to use a washer and a lock washer. The lock washer keeps the nut um, so from backing out. So when you use a wheelbarrow all the time, there's a lot of motion, a lot of movement. And you want to take and make sure that that nut is not going to free up. So you put both of those front brackets on. You never tighten anything at the beginning. You put everything together loose. So we got our we got our first bracket. Then there's a, another bracket. Those go back down to the handles when you put it together. So you put your other bolt in. Your second bracket goes on. You put a lock. We put a washer, a lock washer, and a nut on. And you just hand tighten it. You don't you don't go tight at all. All you're doing is touching the threads. The next thing you want to do is you have your legs. Now your legs come together. When this comes in a box like this, your legs are going to come together and these are all going to be apart. These, this is a leg. This holds your legs so that they don't flex back and forth and go like this. So this is a bracket that it, all it does is get locked into here and it gets locked into the other side. And it just keeps your, your legs from splitting apart when you're full of concrete or you have it full of soil or dirt. It gives it more stability. It's just like a stretcher on your rocket or on your uh, on a footstool. So now you're going to flip your wheelbarrow or your barrel up. Okay. I'm just going to use that pressure washer just to hold it up for me there. I was going to do this outside, but it's raining today, so we brought it down in the cellar or the basement. And now what we're going to do is in the front here. They're longer because the wedge. The wedge of this is thicker here, so you got to use a longer bolt as you do from the rear. So, on the front of the wear barrel, we're going to fish this bolt up through. We're going to take a smaller bolt and put it through the, the back side of the wheel barrel. The wedge goes against the wheel barrel, so this goes here and here, then the handle.
push that through. Okay, we're gonna put that up there. Then your leg bracket. Make sure that this goes to the rear of the wheelbarrow, not the front. And you're just gonna set it on there for now. You're not gonna tighten anything too tight. You're just gonna put it on. And you're gonna start your nuts and bolts. So you're gonna put your, your, or, uh, your nuts on there. You're gonna put a washer. You're gonna put a lock washer. And then a nut. That's on the front. That'll, whoops. That'll hold that in place. Same thing in the rear. Lock washer. You're gonna put a washer. Let me push this through. There we go. You're gonna put a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. Don't tighten anything too tight. You do that all at the end. If you tighten this tight, you're gonna have a hard time lining up the rest of your holes, the rest of your brackets. The next part is we're going to put a long bolt in the bottom, short bolt in front, put it up on its edge again, we might need to get a little bit because it's getting top heavy, okay? Same thing, wedge goes against the wheelbarrow. up out of the way for now. We're going to put our handle on. Whoops. Missed. We're going to put our handle on like this. around here get this other bolt that fell out and push it up through there we go then we can put our leg on get it started go and then all we're going to do same thing washer first on both lock washer two nuts okay like I said do not tighten these because you'll never get your wheel and your front brackets on you'll have a real mess on you and just make sure you can see what I'm doing good Next thing you want to do is to put your front wheel on. This is your axle. This is your wheel. Axle goes into the wheel. Axle bracket at the bottom. So, same thing with this. Bolt goes in. Bolt goes through. Put your axle bracket on. Two washers. Two lock washers. Almost made a mistake. Forgot this bracket here. This bracket here needs to go in the front and be attached to the front of the axle. The axle bracket. There we go. Put your put your nut on. Again, don't tighten these. Everything's real loose at first. Just hand tight. You want to do the same thing at the top, but when you do the top, you got to put your axle in or in your wheel or you're not going to get it in there. Uh, the other thing is we're going to drop these bolts here in through here so that they can stick in there. We're going to grab our front bracket. Okay, this goes like this and like so. And this goes here. So we're going to put those in place, washer, lock washer, and nut, 
hand tighten, don't get crazy with it, just to hold it in place. Same thing at the bottom, washer, lock washer and nut. Hand tighten, wheel and axle. This goes in there like so. This goes here like so. You're going to thread that and push it down on top. Push your bolts up. Whoops, almost forgot the bracket on this one too. And this goes here. This one goes like this. Same thing. Lock washer, washer, and nut. Or washer, lock washer, then nut. Opposite. And everything's hand tightened. And if you want to save a few dollars and you don't want Home Depot to build your wheelbarrow and you want to just buy a kit. But Home Depot's got to pay somebody to do this. So, it's essence, you're going to pay. So if you just buy the kit and do it yourself, you're going to save a few dollars. Now what you can do is start to tighten these and snug everything. Just by hand. Don't grab a, don't grab a wrench and snug everything up. You just want to tighten everything by hand. All the way down. All your... Because now everything matches up. All the holes are aligned, all the, all the wedges are aligned, the legs are aligned. Everything can be tightened up now, but you just you don't want to tighten them all at once. And you don't want to grab a wrench on them right away. And then we're going to grab an impact driver and tighten everything up. There we go. There we go. All right, let me grab an impact driver. You're going to start to tighten things up. Don't drive them all the way home yet, just nice and easy. If you don't have an impact driver, you can use a wrench. Same thing at the bottom here. Might have to do that one once you turn it over. Get your front bracket tight. Don't drive them home. You shouldn't be hearing much ratchet. You should only be tight snugging things up. And once you get that and you sturdy everything up, you want to flip your wheelbarrow up. And you want to make sure everything works properly before you actually go ahead and drive everything. There we go. That goes there. We're going to tighten the front brackets up. We're going to tighten this bolt. Put a little bit of ratchet on everything. There we go. Fronts. And there you have it. So, if you want to save a few dollars and you don't want to go and have somebody build your wheelbarrow, or if you can find one that somebody rarely used and you want to fix it up, I just built new handles for this and cut new wedges and uh, bought new. I bought new bolts. So there you have it. Um, that's the assembly of a wheelbarrow. It doesn't take a whole lot of time and it can save you a few dollars, especially if somebody has broken handles and they throw one out and you see it and the barrel's still in good shape and the wheel's still in good shape. That's it.